All right, hello guys, and so today we are gonna do a quick tutorial about how to make custom brushes in Affinity Designer. For this project, I decided to create a very simple barbed wire custom brush. And so this is the image we are going to use as our reference image. So let me just put it to the side, uh, Control L to lock it so we can move it and it doesn't get in the way. And let's start working. So essentially what you first need to do, you need to create a piece of the brush that you are going to repeat uh, in the pattern while you are applying the brush on your vector lines. So therefore what we are going to create is this piece that you can see on the screen, however, in graphics, and we are going to export it as PNG image, and then we can apply it and create our brush. So let's get to work. Essentially we have just like three pieces in the inside, and then on each side there are two sharp pieces and then the endings. So how I'm going to do it is let's first create the middle part. I just create a rectangle. Let's just uh, curve the edges. Let's bake the corners so it stays as it should. Let's make it a little smaller and now let's just repeat it basically three times in the inside and then two more times. So we end up with five pieces like this. Let's put it to center and let's essentially grab these and make them longer. So this is going to be our, uh, the ending that is going to be sharp. Let's place it on this one, snap to it, brother. Yup. All right, let's get the, rid of the one underneath it. And now let's make these sharp. All right, so I just selected these two nodes and I'm going to delete them like this. Same on the other side, delete, and we have sharp edges. We know that we will need another one that goes up on the other direction. So let's just take this control shift and let's create a copy that we are then going to use in order to create the sharp edge here. Before we do that, we know that these sort of need to be tilted. The middle can be tilted as well. Therefore, for simplicity, we are going to just uh, select everything and with shift and movement like this, sorry, control and movement like this, we are going to tilt it just slightly like this. Thinking right now, we don't really need this part because we need it tilted. So we are gonna use this part. We're gonna copy it again, then uh, horizontal flip and align it to the bottom, just like this one is aligned to the top. Now we want to align it to this part as well. So I'm going to move it until it snaps this green line. Now we know that it snapped and we want kind of similar edge over here as well. So I'm just gonna eyeball it and put it um, just like that. We can put it in different colors so we see how far it is. Yeah, so you see, is this yellow uh, overlap as big as the, the gap here? Kind of, essentially. So I'm just gonna uh, expand it and let me uh, select the sharp node at the top and the yellow one. Let me put them all together and now let's delete the ones we don't need and that should essentially create a sharp edge like this. Let's put it in white and looking at it right now we need to move it slightly to the bottom just like this and then probably it should be more to the right uh, essentially so there is a similar gap on both sides yeah i think for the purpose of this tutorial it's fine is there the same height no because we moved it down all right let's let's just stretch it until it's there yep all right now we copy it we flip it uh, we go, we align it here, align it down, and just like that. 
align with the bottom, align with the top. Now let's simulate a similar gap like we had on the right side. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Let's select everything. Let's make it slightly smaller like this. I think this is looking pretty good. So let's select it. Let's group it. Control G. Let's just put it right in the middle of our frame. And now let's create these two wires that go in the end. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it right in the middle over the edge, uh, make it white. And let's, I already have it done here, but let's just apply pressure to the edges so the edges are thinner than the middle line and now let's give it some sort of a curvature somewhere in the middle just like this now let's copy this flip it horizontally and align it just so there is a little bit of the edge now we uh, we select both we align it in the middle of the barbed uh, graphic we just made we group it we create another one we put it on the other side of it uh, approximately at the same part and now the important step is to select all of them or both of the edges and just align it to the center and what that creates is that the the cut at the, at the left side is the same as the cut on the right side and therefore when you do copying or repeating pattern it's going to align exactly as it should okay so let's get rid of the black canvas and let's just save this as a png we do expert uh, yes desktop and we just save it as a tutorial barb wire piece png file safe now we can group it hide it let's get back with our canvas and let's create just some sort of a line like this now we go into brushes we click right here at the top on the small edge or on the small four three lines or whatever it is and we do new textured image brush we click on that we select our tutorial barbed wire piece and here we have it the, the bottom so now we have the vector line we apply this we apply this as you can see it's not as we imagine it therefore we right click on this and we do edit brush here you got a settings for your brushes and what we got to do is for the body instead of stretch we do repeat and now you can see that it repeats the pattern we can enlarge it to see how it looks like let's say for this size i don't know something like this would look good and if we zoom in we can see that the edges are perfectly fitting together so you don't get any weird connections and it looks really really nice and so essentially what you can see right here in the in the editing brush window we only play with the width to either make it really big or make it really small and so therefore repeating more um, size variance doesn't really affect us or I mean it affects the endings but it's not really something that happens on a barbed wire in real life so you don't really want to do it and opacity again we are playing with vectors so we can leave that as this for the pressure if you would be using a pen i'm using a mouse you could try to do that if you would want them to be a thinner at the ends and then here uh, in the offset you you select where the pattern should be repeating but since we created perfectly repeating pattern as our image that we are using uh, we don't need to play with this so now we hit close and we successfully created our barb wire brush I mean, you can see it, if i put a straight line it looks very very nice yup cool that's it
Thanks guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to let me know what other tutorials from Affinity Designer you would like to see. And I see you in the next one. Peace.